from Congress's Rahul Gandhi. Let's take a look. Rahul Gandhi's first response on the big question, will he be contesting from Amethi or not the high profile seat where we know the BJP has renominated Smriti Irani, it's a former Congress bastion. He said, this is a BJP question, whatever order I get from the Congress president, I'll do it. The decision will be taken in the CEC, that's the Central Election Committee of the Congress. Take a look and then we'll bring you more. Let's go to our colleague Pallavi Ghosh to understand more. Pallavi, this has of course been the big question this election season. Raibareli, Amethi, who's running and when are we going to get to know the answer? Rahul Gandhi giving this answer and starting by saying this is a BJP question. What does he mean, Pallavi? Well, I mean, at the press conference, in fact, just before he began taking the questions to where he already said that I know you're going to ask me some questions which may have been given to you by the BJP. So when he was asked this question by a reporter, he responded by saying this is a BJP question because the BJP also has been raising the point that why is there no clarity uh, from Rahul Gandhi or from the Congress party that who's contesting from Amethi? See, till now, the BJP hasn't declared any uh, candidate for Rai Bareilly. That suspense continues because the Congress is also keeping the suspense going. Smriti Irani, who is contesting from Amethi, who defeated Rahul Gandhi, is repeatedly making the point. And when she went to Wayanad, also she made the point and telling the people of Wayanad that just as he ran away from Amethi, he's going to run away from Wayanad as well. She's also been raising the question: Is that is there a clarity on whether Rahul Gandhi is going to be contesting? Now, even if he doesn't contest, uh, of course, it's going to become a big issue by the BJP when they're going to say that look, he's run away. Today, of course, Rahul Gandhi was extremely evasive in that press conference, saying that he's leaving it to the party. If the party wants him to contest, then he will contest. But Toya, interestingly, many in the party, at least the UP Congress uh, unit, has actually passed a resolution saying and urging Rahul Gandhi to contest from Amethi. So it's not that the party doesn't want him to contest. The calculation really is that let the polling for Vayanad be over because we don't want this to have an effect on Vayanad polling pattern where this time they have a pretty strong candidate from CPI, Ani Raja, also contesting. So that suspense still continues over Amethi. So, tell our audiences a little bit more here, Pallavi, because there are a few factors at play. Number one, question one, uh, when does the Congress have to make this decision public by? And how does our audience interpret the whole Robert Vadra angle that we've seen play out in the last few days? Well, I mean, um, mid-May is when Amethi goes to poll. So, and there's still a long way to go for the nomination. So, the party does have that kind of a time. But clearly, every time the Congress announces candidates for, say, Uttar Pradesh and other states as well, the, 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 we keep looking at the, and scrolling at the list to find out that if there's any clarity on Amethi. So Amethi is always going to be that big ticket which we all are going to be watching out for. So they have time and I think, as I said, the calculation within the Congress is that let why not polling be over and then we are going to get a clarity on that. When it comes to Robert Vadra, well, I mean, when I spoke to him, he made it very clear that if people want him to contest from Amethi, he, he contest. would. I Pallavi, just stay yeah, with but, us for but, a second. We'll come back to you in just a second. I'm so sorry. We have Tom Vadakan from the BJP who's with us right now, Mr. Vadakan, as Rahul Gandhi answers, because obviously that question was posed to him right at the start of the press conference that are you going to be running from Amethi? And as he answers, he starts off by saying this is a BJP question. So do you feel Rahul Gandhi by making that comment onto the BJP playbook that this is the big question for the Congress? Well, uh, this is, is like the shooting the messenger, because this is a question that people are asking. And a journalist, if he's asking that, he's within his rights to ask that. And he, the guilt conscience of the man is reflected in this. He, he just cannot fight in a Metis that he knows it. And then he's keeping it in wraps and then he's saying it's the election committee to take a call. Whatever be the case, I think the reality is he's scared of going anywhere near Metis. Sir, I want to ask you, the Congress has argued that this is not anxiety, this is a strategic silence. How do you see that, sir? Well, this is, uh, well, you call it strategy or uh, radio silence on this issue. Finally, they have to file a nomination. And uh, the fact that they are holding for the last minute is clear indicative of, uh, you know, fear 
of contesting from that constituency. They're trying to bring some sur element of surprise, which I don't think will surprise us anymore. Sir, so right now there are a few names in the offings. We, we've watched how Robert Vadra has in a few interviews now said that if he were given the seat, he would run. But that big question of Rahul Gandhi will run, that also remains a question. So how would the BJP perceive Rahul Gandhi running once again from the seat? Well, we welcome competition. We are not scared of anything. Let him come. The point is, he has to take a call. Or if he wants to send his brother-in-law or somebody else. Let him take a call. We we'll, we we'll take the okay. challenge as it goes. Okay, Mr. Vadikan, thank you for joining us here on CNN News 18. Let's go back to our colleague Pallavi to understand more. Pallavi, on our screens right now, we're watching visuals of Rahul Gandhi and Akhilesh Yadav come together. And this was a very, very significant meeting for the INDIA Alliance in Uttar Pradesh too. Can you just bring us more context as to why? See, if you remember the last uh, two, uh, the last two last actually state assembly elections, the UPK Ladke narrative was pushed by an unprecedented alliance, if I may call it, between Akhilesh Yadav and, of course, the uh, the Congress party. And that did not work. It did not click because the workers on the ground were not voting. This time round, after much uh, scratching their heads, the two of them have again come together because both the SP, Congress, all of them are very much a part of the India Bloc Alliance. And this question was definitely asked of them that, do you think it's going to work? Uh, what Rahul Gandhi's answer was and what is the calculation is that the the way you vote for state elections is very different the way you vote for Lok Sabha elections. But the real calculation of mathematics, what they've done on the ground is that they're, they're twofold, that the Yadav votes, which will stay with Akhilesh Yadav, will come also to the Congress party. And the second thing is there should be no division of the minority votes because both SP and Congress vie for that particular vote bank. So they want to keep it amongst themselves and together. So that is one reason why Toya, they are very, very hopeful that this time round, the joint picture of an Akhilesh Yadav and Rahul Rahul Gandhi can click. Uh, but we have seen what happened in UP earlier. We are seeing what happens between AAP and Congress. You know, the top leaders may become friends, but on the ground, the cadre don't often support each other, especially if they have been trained to fight against each other and attack each other. That could be one huge challenge why this alliance faces. Palavi, thank you for bringing us all of that context.